Hi guys, Wallace here with your Monday video. I am talking again about the romances that I got from The Ripped Bodice. So the last two weeks I've shown you a couple of romances each time. This week I'm going to do the same. I have two that I'm going to show you. And what they have in common is that each story is one of the ones that there's going to be a little bit of conflict about the two people getting together. The first one is called New York Actually by Sarah Morgan. It's about Molly and Daniel. Molly is an advice columnist, which I kind of like the idea of because um, I was just talking to somebody who loves reading advice columns. And so I saw this afterwards and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get that. That might be something that they might like to borrow after. And then Daniel is a divorce lawyer and neither one of them really wants to get married. They both work with people who have a lot of problems with love and um, then yada 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 I'm sure we know what happens I haven't read it yet but it's not gonna be hard to find out but we read it for the story and knowing that it's gonna have a happy ending right so it should be cute plus I kind of like anything set in New York I love New York I really really do it's one of my catnip places where if a story is happening there it's probably gonna be something I like at least a little bit and I kind of like stories about two people who don't want to get married because I kind of don't want to get married so I kind of like reading about these other people who aren't just like in it to get married the entire time. I, I always think there's something a little bit fun about that kind of story and about those kind of characters. So this one is called The Idea of You by Robin Lee and you may have heard of it. It's about uh, this mother, a single mother who has a teenager or like a tween, something like that. She lives in Los Angeles and so her daughter is in love with this boy band. She takes her daughter to like meet the boy band and she, she's like the owner of like some fancy gallery here in Los Angeles um, and she's like 39 and then she ends up with the guy from the boy band that her daughter has like a major, her daughter and all of her friends have like a major crush on. I think it starts out secret or something. I mean, I haven't read this one either, but this one looks so good. A single mom, love that. Just like there's not enough of those, I don't think. And then this one is just like a funny twist. And I don't think the boy bander is like, a, he's not a teenager. He's just like a, you know, a boy band guy that like all the teenagers love and the mom is like secretly dating him. So I think that that's funny. And also probably a lot of fun. So if you've read either one of those, you can let us know in the comments what you think about it, but no spoilers, please, as always. And I'll see you next Monday. Until next week, happy reading.